Hey guys, what is up? It has been some days since I've actually picked up the camera and filmed. Today's another vlog. It is, um, what day is it today? It's Thursday, Thursday the 7th. Oh, just realized my rent is due. <laughs> Thursday the 7th. And my coffee is finished, guys. I'm so devastated. So I'm gonna have to have this instant coffee. If you guys remember, if you've been watching my vlogs for a while, I I was literally drinking this coffee religiously. Then I got my Nespresso coffee machine. I don't know if it's in shot, but you guys can see it there. And I switched to my proper coffee pods. And since then, I'm just like, yeah. So I don't know how this instant coffee life is going to go. Usually when I order it off the Nespresso website, because the pods are much cheaper and they're like 55p each. But you do have to order like 40 of them. So there's like a minimum order. Anyway, usually when I order off of there, um, it comes the next day. So every, <laughs> for the past two days, I'm like, yeah, I'll do it tomorrow. Yeah, I'll do it tomorrow. So, but I'm definitely going to do it today because now I'm literally having caffeine withdrawal symptoms. <laughs> so that is why I've resorted to this instant coffee as well. <sighs> so, yeah, I literally just boiled the kettle a minute ago. See how this goes but yeah how are you guys how has your week been how's your weekend been um like i said it's been a while since i've actually done a vlog and just like sat down and spoke to you guys i want to start planning out some content so that i will have back-to-back -back content because i do sometimes bulk film but it's usually like one or two videos in one day but i want to bulk film in a sense that um even if it's not bulk filming, I want to make sure I have content for you guys every day. Um, even if it means like I record three videos on a day and then, you know, um, so on and so forth. Let's do the taste test. <laughs> okay, I can deal with that, I can deal with that. It doesn't taste the best still, but... Um, yeah, I can deal with that. I can cope with that. Um, we're going to have, I think for breakfast, I'm going to do oats. Me and Tilly are meant to be going for a walk. I swear this week I've been so, like, demotivated to, to go out. And then when I do decide to, like, get ready and go, it just starts raining. I don't know. Comment down below if you have a dog or if you have any advice. I'm just thinking, like... I know she's a dog and she can go out in the rain, but she's nine months old, like she's still a puppy. So I still feel like a little bit guilty to like take her out, take her out in the in the rain. I know she'd probably be fine, but my mum would just be like, "Yeah, my mum said, oh, you just have a wet house, that's all." Just wonder how people take their dog out for walks in the rain. But I suppose if your dog needs to go out, she just needs to go out, right? I know she's bored. She needs to go out today. It's currently about, yeah, it's about 10 o'clock ish. So I'm going to aim to get out of the house by like 11, just after 11. I usually take her for like an hour's walk nowadays to um, make sure she burnt off all that energy. Some days we have been going twice a day. I just really want to like work on her social skills. Because Tilly does not like other humans. <laughs> I mean, she likes my family because obviously she's used to them. Um, but she's not used to like other other strangers. I say that strangers. And guys, I've got some bad news. If you guys. Um, if you guys have been watching me for a while, then you will know Tilly. Um, my mum had another dog, which is Tilly's sister. Her name was Sister. <laughs> Her name is Sister. Um, yeah, but basically my mum has sold Sister because it was becoming quite a lot of pressure for her to have a dog. And also I've got younger siblings, so it was becoming a lot of pressure for her to have Sister. And obviously she's a puppy as well. 
um, and also look after my sisters and so on and so forth and she just felt like she wasn't giving her the best quality of life so your sister has gone to a new home it's a nice home um, the lady's lovely she's an artist you know um, her, like her children have grown up and stuff like that so she's got a lot of time to spend with sister so yeah that's the bad news about sister it's a bit disheartening the day that she went I was a bit tearful but um, I'm just happy if I lived in a house and not an apartment I would have took her took her taken her oh, I can't speak English um, yeah I would have had her because you know it was nice to keep Tilly with one of her little siblings but um unfortunately it's just too much I mean I know some people do have two dogs in apartments some flats and stuff but it's just a lot especially that they're puppies as well they're not dogs yet I've still got quite I mean we are getting there but I know I've got still got a little bit of work to do with Tilly to get her to that stage of actually being a dog and you know um being a bit more independent she is definitely progressing in the sense that i can leave her for like 20 minutes now and she won't be chewing on something she shouldn't be or you know trying to swallow something she shouldn't be um now she does just like literally chill by herself like now she's just chilling by herself i know she's very bored but so i'm gonna get ready to take her out and i'm so hoping it's not gonna rain i can see some gray clouds i definitely can see some gray clouds so i'm just hoping it's not gonna rain but do you know what i think i might still take her even if it does and I suppose this will be a test to see um, how she copes with the rain as well. And also I'm thinking like, if I don't take her out in the rain, she's never going to know what the rain feels, looks, smells like. So any time that I would have to take her out in the rain, it's going to be too, like, too, like, sensory overload for her. And she might be scared. So I guess, um, you know, this whole thing has just been about Tilly. But <laughs> know Tilly is my baby if you've been subscribed to me for a while you know Tilly is my baby so I'm always going to be talking about her but yeah we met someone in the park the other day and she, uh, the, the, the man was explaining that mo the more things you implement at the age that she is now and obviously when she was younger is the best because she she grows um what's the word she grows up being exposed to those things rather than just trying to expose it to her when she gets older so i was like to her oh, she'll probably just grow out of this um this unsocialization phase that she's going going through and the guy was like no she won't you know you have to get her out of it so i need to like try and work on taking her to like town centers and things like that um where there's gonna just be loads of people like in the park she's like really scared of other people like sometimes she'll go over to like sniff other dogs <laughs> Come on, yeah sometimes she will like go over to sniff other dogs this is tilly by the way <laughs> if you're new to my channel this is my tilly she's my nine months old mini cockapoo um she's really cheeky but she's really good at the same time <laughs> she does look at the camera don't you tilly are you bored mommy's gonna take you out don't worry mommy's gonna take you out yes 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 hi guys so today i kind of just want to do a simple kind of like, i want a high coverage but i want a simple look i got this to show you guys actually the other day i went to the pound shop i didn't end up um doing a haul because it wasn't like a really big one i'm going to try and maybe do one sometime this week but i got this lovely headband <laughs> how cute is this and like you know the color is just me like this nude shade so we're gonna plan, be planning some like new content and stuff for you guys so that i can just have every like just be a little bit more organized so i will be sitting down to plan content today i want to actually film my asmr i've been saying this for weeks i've had my microphone my yeti microphone for like i want to say nearly a month now <laughs> So it's getting ridiculous. I need to like pick it up and do something with it. So I'm gonna film my first ASMR today. What's like kind of been holding me back is like planning it, when to film it, because it is ASMR, like I need to have a quiet environment. But the lady that lives above me, like she has a son and that son just runs all riot all the time and you can hear the thumping. And then the Yeti microphone picks up literally even if like a cat is outside meowing like you can hear it so i'm kind of just like oh filming at night time but then sometimes the baby doesn't go to bed until like 12 midnight even later 
So I'm just like, um, do you know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna film it. I'm gonna film it no matter what. Um, I just have to maybe edit it so that I can cut out the thumping. That's the only thing when you live like in apartments and stuff like that. You know, you do have to be getting used to other people's noises and stuff. So, ASMR. What kind of ASMR? If you guys watch ASMR, what kind of ASMR um, videos do you guys like? I'm just going to like start off with like a general sort of triggers and stuff like that and then just take it from there if you don't know asmr it videos are video i forgot what it stands for <laughs> if i can find it i'll put it on the screen um but yeah um asmr is basically like to do with sensory noises and obviously you can't touch because it's online but sensory noises and sounds and stuff like that um, so you can use objects or you can make sounds with your mouth and you're supposed to do like listen to the, the videos with your like your headset on and the person that's obviously recording the video would generally use like a microphone so you can really hear the sounds like intensively. Um, so usually these sounds are like to help you relax. Um, yeah, just help you relax. You can use them as meditation. Um, so I really enjoy watching them. So I just thought... I don't know, one day I just had a brainwave and I'm like, I want to film my ASMR. So that is how I kind of went about ordering my Yeti microphone. Although my Canon camera, which I use to film videos like what I'm using now, does not have a microphone jack. So I kind of have to, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I either use my iPhone or that was the thing that kind of, distracted me away from even doing them the, the ASMRs but where there's a will there's definitely a way I do have another camera but it's, it's very old like very old and I don't know how how great the quality is but we'll see We'll see what's gonna happen. So like I said, give my nose a little contour whilst that concealer is kind of setting. Don't ask me what I'm doing, guys. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. I literally could not tell you. Yeah, but I think I kind of, not kind of, I think I deserve now to order some new makeup. I've been very, very good. So I'm going to order some new makeup I want to do it today. I feel like I'm trying to cram so much in one day. But. Hey ho. See what I get done. Okay. And then what I want to do is. Contour my nose. Not very straight, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, right. Let's. That's not gonna work. I need like a flat, dense brush. This is too big. Yes, okay. This would work. Just the. I've seen this TikTok going around. I don't know if it's TikTok, but. People do it on YouTube as well. I don't really watch TikTok. Where they kind of just colour in the whole nose like this. Literally colour it in. And then you take your bright concealer and I'm going to take some hair. The back of my hand. And just draw a line down the middle, down the end, the centre, I should say. 
like that. What I'm going to do is get my sponge wherever it's gone to. Get my sponge and I'm just... I'm going to blend out the edges so they're not so harsh. But yeah, that's... Oh my gosh, what am I doing? Okay. I don't know what I look like, guys, but let's see. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think once I powder, like once I set it, yeah, once I set, I think it will actually be all right. Uh, I need to order some Cody Airspun powder because also that is finishing. Tilly is like raring to go. I put her harness on, brushed her out. So she's raring to go. Yeah, this looks good. I like it. I hope it doesn't look too harsh in daylight. I am in front of the um, window, but sometimes when you go outside, things look totally different. Hey guys, so I literally, oh, the lighting is so bad this side. So yeah, I literally just have finished my makeup. I really like the way it turned out. So I'm just trying to find what I'm gonna wear. So far, I've got, I'm only walking Tilly, but <laughs> I've got these like um, legging type tracksuit bottom type things going on. Um, obviously this is just like a bralette, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna put on um, probably just a plain top, I think. And you guys are right beside my drawer. So I'm gonna put your hair. I like getting ready in my bedroom with you guys. I don't know what it is, but I like it. Um, I'm just finding a simple top. If you hear banging and crashing around, that is Tilly playing with ice. <laughs> that's the only way I can get her to drink because sometimes like, before we go out, she won't drink water. And then whilst we're out, she's thirsty and I feel so bad so I'm just gonna wear this plain top I mean like I said we're only going to for a walk so it's not actually a big deal but I do like to be slightly fashionable because I think we will go to the park like I said I'm trying to um, make Tilly a little bit more soci sociable than what she is so I know it's like half term here, the Easter half term for the children. So I know definitely there's going to be children in the park. Tilly, why did you bring the ice on my bed? Where's the ice? Where's it gone? Where did you put it? Where's it gone? She always like knocks it underneath the chair or something like that. Oh, she's found it. <laughs> She loves playing with the ice, guys. Let me show you. <gasps> Where's it gone? <laughs> she absolutely loves it, guys. And it's good, you know, it gets fluids down her. Hey, guys, I'm currently ready. This is my OOTD. Let me see if I can just face the camera to the mirror. Hey guys, so yeah, this is the OOTD. Um, as you can see, I'm just wearing those tracksuit bottoms I just showed you, legging tracksuit bottoms. I've got my little bum bag on. I never get why they call them bum bags because it sits at the front, but anyways. Um, I've got this thick knitted cardigan on because I'm just thinking it looks quite windy outside. <laughs> well, it is quite windy because my mum has already told me that her table has got blown away, her garden table. Um, but yeah, so this is the OOTD. Tilly is on my hair. Come on, Tilly. Good girl. Can you see her there? <laughs> That's the mess of the room. But yeah. Literally ready. 
literally are ready to get out the door this lighting is just changing <sighs> the weather is just changing but anyways literally ready to get out the door um and yeah probably if there's anything like interesting to show you guys at the park i will film but we usually just walk around and if we see people we might have stop and have a chat um like i said socialization skills other than that um yeah so i'll probably see you guys when i get back hey guys so i'm back and it is um let's see what the time is it's nearly four o'clock it's like 10 to 4 um i literally just got set up for this asmr i'll just show you guys um this vlog will go up before they say asmr obviously but this is my yeti um camera blue yeti blue yeti camera blue yeti microphone i just have this pop pop um cover over it guys look at these nails like how long are these but like they're vital for asmr videos like literally vital i cannot deal with them but i'm gonna pop them off as soon as i finish this video then basically for this my first asmr video um <laughs> randomly i've just picked out like a few of like my favorite items so i've got like my fake tan that i love my favorite hot chocolate from aldi um like this glow type moisturizing mist from garnier which is like a skincare mist also um i've got my britney spears perfume which i absolutely love like one of my favorite perfumes now and then also my revolution pro lip oil so yeah my plan is to just do like some of my um <laughs> like these are like some of my favorite items so just to show you guys like some of my favorite items hopefully do some like tapping open close spray some of the products like i don't have a clue i don't know what i'm doing i've watched a few um videos here on youtube but quite frankly i don't have a clue so basically like i said my blue my blue yeti has to go into like a microphone jack which i don't have on this camera that i'm using so i have to i have like this extension that i got off of amazon so i'm going to plug this into my phone and hopefully i'm going to be able to like line up the audio so record the visual um footage on my camera and the audio on my actual mobile phone but obviously this is going to be plugged into my mobile phone guys this is just an experiment if i edit it and it just doesn't work out right then that's why you know you haven't seen this asmr video <laughs> i'm hoping it will like i've seen people do it so um yeah if it doesn't work then i might try and see if i can use my old camera but the footage is just not great or i might just use my mobile phone directly so anyway that's enough of rambling the day is going um and yeah i just want to film i did try to film this couple of times at night time but i think it's better to film at daytime where i'm a bit more i've got more energy as such and i'm more alert at night time i'm way too quiet so i've just pulled the blinds down so it's kind of dark in the room so it kind of gives that nighttime vibe um but it still seems quite bright actually but i think it's okay i think it will be okay um what else was i gonna say yeah so hopefully like third time lucky because i think this is the third time i'm filming this at asmr that's what they say third time lucky so fingers crossed i'm gonna put my phone on flight mode because i don't want any interruptions no text messages no emails no calls nothing so i'm gonna put my phone on flight mode i'm telling you guys like any of you guys are gonna call me anyways so guys which means like, these are just crazy like how would anybody function with these like and i see girls women on youtube instagram everyday life with nails this long like i couldn't maybe half of this yes but not this long like how do you possibly cope and like tilly would just literally have them off <laughs> it would literally just chew them she fights up these are press-ons as well by the way guys i just literally just stuck them on um, they buy this brand I'll show you actually from Amazon. I want to see if they've got um, some more just because like longer length, oh, sorry, shorter lengths, even though they do say you can file these down, but I just think it starts getting more complicated um, because the acrylic on these are really, really strong. Like I can't believe it. 
um which is really really good because obviously they're quite long so you need the nails to be strong but i want to see if they have some more nails um on their amazon store because they're really really strong and you can tell that they're good quality and they were only like six pounds so i really really like them and also they're nice and glossy that's what i like about them too sometimes when you get press on nails they're not that glossy but these are lovely i'll just give you guys again a close-up so they come like in this assorted green and like nude i don't know green and nude it's not really my perfect color scale but they're just for the aesthetic you know guys like come on anyways i'm gonna start rambling because i'm literally just rambling i'm gonna start this video so you guys wish me luck um and yeah literally just got done filming my first asmr i literally just went to go and start speaking going just like whispering this was the whole setup i don't know how i did like obviously when i get a response from you guys or whoever out there then i will know how i did how well or how badly i did um i feel quite confident and i think like when it comes to asmrs i really think that um it's also to everyone's individual individual preferences because everybody has like their own triggers what they love so yeah like i said it was my first time i can get better i did um ask you guys if you do watch it then i did ask you guys to comment down below and let me know what you thought of it let me know how i could improve what triggers you guys like because at the end of the day you guys are the audience so whatever triggers you guys want to see here just let me know um and i'll try and do another asmr because i did enjoy filming it i do actually like like sounds like it's really strange like sounds like just like that opening you know like simple things like that like it's very satisfying um so if you're into asmrs be sure to check that video out it will be coming out tomorrow which is a friday and today is thursday so it will be coming out tomorrow so you guys make sure you like comment and subscribe and also make sure you hit your post notification bells so you know when i upload that video i wanted to show you guys um these headphones because i don't know about you guys but i have a very very tiny ears um yeah so my ears are really really small so i do actually and when i buy headphones i do have like have the issue of them falling out all the time so it's pretty annoying but i did find these headphones because when you do asmrs it's very good that you can um hear what you're recording if that makes sense so the sound of me opening and closing that 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 um mist you know the sound of me speaking that just everything is good for you to hear the sound effects so um what was i gonna say yeah so i had to get some headphones i did originally order ones that sort literally that go over your head at he as headphones um but i did get these are these earphones i'm so bad does anyone else get confused i think these are earphones and the ones are headphones that go over your head obviously so i did see a lot of people using headphones initially when they do asmrs but i just couldn't i couldn't get into my vibe with something just over my head constantly so i got these the headphones i originally ordered like 30 something pounds but that wasn't an issue obviously if they were really gonna like benefit my asmr videos but i later on um ordered these smaller ones and i'll just show you guys they're like this if the camera's gonna focus yeah so they've got like a magnet that holds them together like that um also they're like i don't know if any of you guys are iphone um users let me see if the camera will focus but this is what they look like and they're the same shape as the iphone headphone but they do just have your um your standard jack pin jack type thing that goes into like this blue yeti microphone so these are really really good because they hold in my ear really really nicely the only thing i would say is that i can't control the volume by this um control this is supposed to be the control volume but it's fine because i can use my um my microphone i think they do work in my macbook 
I think they do, I can't remember, but I think they do work in my MacBook, like the um, the control volume thing, but that's fine, like like I said, I'm not really too bothered about that, um, I just like the fact that they don't keep falling out of my ears, because I find it hard to find earphones that don't fall out of my ears, um, so yeah, I'm very happy with that, and I, yeah, I just thought I'll show you guys, these are off Amazon, if you guys want me to link them down below, please comment link them in the description box please comment down below so um i'll know that you guys want me to link them um and yeah this is i'm probably gonna leave the vlog here today guys um just because there's not really much else happening today um if there is then i'll just oh i thought this was gonna fall <laughs> if there is then i will include it in like tomorrow's vlog well tomorrow's not a vlog tomorrow will be asmr i will include it in the next following vlog um yeah but other than that, I don't really feel like there's going to be any plans for me for the rest of the day. Maybe going to the cinema, but not sure. Um, but yeah, guys, let me stop rambling and go and get to Tilly because she's in her crate. She was knackered, guys, from that walk. I don't know if I said, I don't think I did. She was like literally so like um, scared of the wind as it was like really, really windy t today here in London. So she was literally crying, jumping on my lap, then she started barking at strangers. So she like half and half enjoyed her outing today, but she, I still like forced her to walk around the park. I, I did feel really mean and I just wanted to carry her home, but I thought, no, that is this is not actually helping her because when we have weather like this, she's just gonna be petrified and it just doesn't help her development. So we did walk around the park, I think once, yeah once more after she sort of had her panic attack <laughs> um and that was okay for her that was okay for her she also walked we walked home we ran a long way home um and yeah we just came back i mean we did spend about 40 45 minutes and i think that was ample for her because she is still only nine months old old but yeah so I just thought I'd fill you in about Tilly's walk. I wanted to record, but I needed to give her that attention just because she was literally having a panic attack. <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks again, guys, for watching. Like I said, if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys soon.